Good afternoon, friends. Who do we have? Right. I'm going to put up a poll. And if you were here the other day, you would know we made Harris, Barrison, Hoon, and Bronte. Hi, team. I've got a poll up at the moment for who we're going to make in Sims today. If you were here the other day, we made Barrison, Hoon, and Bronte. So I'm going to hopefully go find them in the Sims for you. All right, team. So there's a poll up at the moment. I'm trying to figure out who who we should make next from my season of maths. If you were here before, you know that we had Harrison and Bronte. So I've got a bunch of options. There's a little poll. Let me know if you can't see it. It should be there. Here they are. How do I? Is people voting? All right, we've got one vote for Evelyn and Rupert. Ooh, one for Ollie and Tani. That's a good one. So, if we remember last time we had Barris and Hoon, I wanted to change a couple things, <laughs> i.e. his shoes. I just feel like he'd wear, yeah, okay, that's better. And Bronte, I just wanted to make her real short because she's teeny, teeny tiny. And oh, I was going to add eyelashes as well. Where was it? Right, I think I like went through and... What do we feel like is more Bronte? Thank you, Maddie. Also, hello. I don't know if you guys can hear the cat meowing outside my room. <laughs> oh, God. Huh. Where are her eyeballs <laughs> when you make them shorter? It's harder to use in the cast mode. All right, how's that pole gone? Okay, well, we have a tie for Ollie and Tani and Melinda and Leighton right now, so. Maddie, you're spoiling me. Um, but yeah, we have a tie at the moment, so we're going to need that to sort itself out. So if you haven't yet, go in and have a look. Who do you want me to make? Okay, I feel like this is more along the lines. Bronte has freckles, but I feel like she never wears them. There we go. I feel like this is more on track. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Um, team, did we already hit the goal? 
Holy dooly. Okay, thank you. All right, we've got Evelyn and Ruben. <laughs> oh, this is so exciting. Okay, all right, so I'm just going to quickly change the text. Ebbs and Rupert. There we go. All right, let's do it. Oh, I didn't need to put my save again. Okay. <laughs> so, okay. If you've been here before, you know that I have not downloaded any mods or custom content before, but I decided to go out and find a couple of, a couple of couplers just because I feel like the people that I'm making have these really, what's the word? They have these really key features that I feel like need to be represented, i.e. Um, hmm. like Bronte's eyelashes or Claire's favorite shoes and stuff. But anyway, okay, Paul, where we at? I swear, once this polls... Right, okay, right. Evelyn and Rupert. We're going to go with them today. And I even made little notes because I wanted to do a really good job. <laughs> I Someone asked me yesterday if I had, like told the cast about making them in The Sims. And I was like, no, but I don't know. I feel like the people I'm not friends with are you know, not really around or in my life anyway. Okay, so. I'm gonna make Evelyn first, just because we made Harrison first yesterday. I feel like we need a girl, and I feel like she's got really high set cheekbones. And because I'm not amazing at doing faces, I feel like I'm gonna pick a face shape that looks like Ev's. Well, she has those like very high plump cheekbones and I love. All right. I feel like she's quite... Mm. Eyes. Oh my God. The thing about eyes is that I can never tell what I want until I see them on the face. Okay, eyebrows. I feel like she's always got these fire brows that I feel like Sims is only going to hurt her feelings on. <laughs> and oh. hair. Right, now, I feel like we're gonna go with a long, we could do an updo for Evelyn, but I feel like she has that classic like wet look. Hair. I feel like she'd be offended if I made her badly. If she has this like pursed look when she talks sometimes, do you know what I mean? And the world's tiniest little nurse. I just remember looking at her and being like, how could a human be so perfect? Do you know what I mean? I feel like her eyebrows look less angry. You know what I mean? That's still really... Okay. Maybe not so much. I feel like she always has this like fiery, shimmery situation going on. Hmm. 
Ooh, ooh, ooh. Like that? I feel like that's fairly close. Maybe a slightly different hue. Okay, and then... Oh, we're gonna do... <laughs> the teeth crack me up because there's like nice teeth, a gap in the teeth, or there's just like super messed up teeth. There is no in between. Wow, they're huge. I feel like Evelyn doesn't go that hard on the eyelashes. And these all look really big on her eyes. I don't know, do we go with this? Oh, you tell me. I don't love the brown personally. Uh -huh. They're like, they're freaking huge. Look at those things. How do I, I wish I could change the size of the um, eyelashes. Thanks, Rebecca. I'm not getting any comments, guys. I need a bit of guidance here. I feel like these are Caitlin. Thanks, Jordan. <laughs> All right. I feel like this, but longer. But the Sims hair is so bad. I can't believe we hit the goal like within seconds of starting. This is ridiculous. Right, where are we at? What the heck? I'm getting spoiled today. All right, team. I'm really gonna need a bit of guidance on this hair because I have no idea. There's like no slick back hair either. The slick back hair is trash in The Sims 4. Felix always long and she loved a wet look, but that's too thick for her. This is why people tell you to download custom content, you know? I'm not, I'm also not very good at a clean girl aesthetic, so that's probably as slick back as we're going to get, but I don't feel like that's Evelyn. Do you know what I mean? You know what I mean, like. Detail it. There we go. I feel like a jaw isn't as like wide set. She needs some cheeks. some lippy I'm just gonna get a picture up because I feel like I'm getting carried away oh. it is, well that's not her voice <laughs> Can you guys hear the sounds of the, um, 
The Sims, or can you just hear me? I'm using, I'm trying to get a photo. See, like she rocks this slick back look. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing, but she rocks that. Like that's so cool. But we don't have that. The Sims can't do slick back. It's not allowed. I feel like her nose. It does not. Whoa. Jesus. The detail editing mode is so savage. I'm going to change the nose entirely. She's got such a teensy little nose. That's not round at the end. Okay. Maybe we can work with this a bit better. Does that work? I feel like she's always got this like hot siren like face on. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The brows kill me. Because The Sims has terrible brows. Like... No. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know. I don't know about brows. Why are they so close together? Oh, I can change it. Never mind. That looks like grey, doesn't it? No, I feel like they have to be black. And I'm just gonna change it lipstick one more time. I do this continuously. It's just always a little adjustment here, a little adjustment there. The entire time. Um No. What two colours? find sims music really soothing because i truly do i feel like why does her face do that her chin's so far out and her nose why is her nose like that i just i feel like evelyn has such an incredible side profile <laughs> well she's got an incredible everything profile that's the problem You know? Okay. Right, this is just where we're at. This is what we're gonna start with because I feel like I could fiddle forever. I feel like really clean girl basic. Joy. Gold, I feel like she's a gold. She's a gold girly. I feel like I'm a little bit, I have a bit of stage fright because I think my boyfriend is watching. <laughs> okay, I feel like we're there. Okie dokie. I've got to give her a name, don't I? Oh. Mm -mm. Okay, clothes. What do we feel for clothes? Do I try and recreate an outfit she actually wore? Mm -hmm. I feel like it's this very basic chill on her days off. Like like a long dress is enough. You know what I mean? But she just looks so... She looks so good in everything. She 
is the teeniest little thing. Truly the teeniest. Is everyone having a good Friday? I feel like it doesn't feel like Friday to me. Not today, anyway. <laughs> I feel like this is very, like, Evelyn at a dinner party situation. But maybe not for every day. Oh my god. Okay, that's a kind of a cute outfit, but it's not her at all. Okay, sets. I feel like she'll get around a set, but I feel like the Simmers will let us down. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. I feel like she's a deep purple kind of girl. Oh, we should do that yellow dress that Rupert said looked like we. That was one of the funniest things I've ever seen. I feel like I don't know. Huh. I feel like the bottoms are going to let us down in terms of like cute skirts or pants. I feel like she wears like flare leggings a lot. Huh. That ain't it, girl. That ain't it. like beiges and things I like I would just put her in an active wear set but they don't have any good ones mm -mm, mm -mm, mm. <sighs> Jesus She's got like mob mum kind of vibes. Does anyone else feel that? I feel like she does. Okay, I feel like maybe like this and then a slightly different top would be ideal. <laughs> Not that top, but a different top. Okay. Hmm. As soon as I hit the ranch style stuff, I'm like, this isn't working. This isn't working. Mm. Yuck. Why do they put them in all these neon colors as well? Okay. Hmm. Yes. We're feeling yes. I feel like every day is the hardest because I want to give them something that's their vibe, but it's not something I've like specifically seen on their bodies, you know? Hmm. Something nude. She's so little. Oh, this is a score. Okay, cool. Right. Gotcha. Okay, and we're just going to put some crazy bling. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, God, no. I don't think I've ever put stockings on a sim before in my life. And I also believe that she would have her nails done. It would be some, like, yeah, yes. All right, I feel like I'm getting in the groove now, Ting. Ooh. 
Yes, no. I hate that I can't see the nails close up. Also, why? Some of these are so ugly. Hmm. No, okay, we're just gonna go with long and pink. I feel like that's that's more her. And I want some bracelets. Although I have heard that the bracelets kind of mess with the eyelashes. Mm-hmm. Now I know that that's a cat, but I feel like the swirl of it suits. <laughs> yeah, see, whoa. Yeah, that ain't it, girl. Okay, there we go. No bracelets for Evelyn. Sorry, babes. Okay, I feel like her skin tone is more... Olivey? You are gonna need to bear with me on this one. The skin tones are so jarring. Is it so green? Mm. Come on, team. Oh, mm -mm. it ain't it. Sunburnt one that is reserved strictly for Harrison, I feel. I don't want her to be bloody green. Okay, look, we're just gonna neutral. I feel like uh -huh. I've never used a neutral color in this game. It's so, unless I've been making like a spooky character. Oh, I feel like this is pretty good. This is this is better. Don't you? I don't know, guys. The goal is, at, we've absolutely smashed the goal. It's so loud. Okay, so we're just gonna up the goal, I guess. And we'll make a fun little sound when we get there. Okay, right. Now we can do the fun formal out. Formal? This is not formal. Okay. I feel like it's gonna be long, it's gonna be skin tight, it's gonna be funky but clean. Like, this is like, oh, like that's her Logie's look. I don't know if anyone else knows what I'm talking about, but like that is her Logie's dress. That's as close as we're getting to her Logie's dress within The Sims. You know? I would love to do everyone's wedding dress, but I just don't think that we have the, I don't think we have the manpower. And she would wear some like really beautiful strappy. Yeah, okay, we're gonna go with that. And we're gonna do makeup and jewelry. I hate that the makeup doesn't just carry across everything. It really, truly shits me to tears. Yeah, yeah. Got the teensiest waist. Okay. Glasses. <laughs> and for her hair, it was kind of like this. I don't feel like we have any better option. Oh, that's very Evelyn. I don't know. We'll do our makeup and see how we feel. I feel like I 
has to be darker and more dramatic. But this is what we did for our everyday look. I don't know. Mm. Why does it go funny like that? Mm. Something like that. And we gotta do some bright cheeks. Let's get your shit together. Okay, there we go. That's probably. I think that's all right. Mm, and Libby. There's really no difference there. Fingernails, we're gonna go with long and we're gonna go with gold. Ew, yuck. Oh, that's not nice. That is not nice at all. Thanks for all the follows, everybody. Legendary. Pink? I feel like pink. Ugh. White? Oh god, some of these are so bad. Nah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna stick with the classic. Maybe white. I feel like maybe white. We'll go with white. Logie's look. <laughs> okay, let's just start from scratch on this one. I feel like athleisure would be why is that in athleisure that can't be no i feel like this is like bougie enough for evelyn but maybe not actually what she would wear <laughs> i feel like she'd do tiny little bike shorts you know but they're so low rise why is it like that Let's just beef her up a little bit. She's looking a bit too tiny. You know what I mean? Ya feel? Okay, think this, but without the horrible pattern. Okay. Right, I can do with that. And we're gonna go with like tank tops or something. Yeah? Shoes. How do we feel I'm going, team? I feel like I've had little to no guidance this entire time. Ugh. Huh. Yeah, I feel like that's all matchy and we're just gonna tie her hair up. Oops. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Updos. Do we feel like that's, that's that Evelyn enough? Do we do a high pony? I feel like she'd do something. Oh, nah, I feel like it's the one with the wispy bits in the front. You know, you feel. Oh, there's one with pens in the hair. Right, that's very 
kindy teacher of, of them. I feel like with the updos, they're just so, they can be really fancy or really just below average. Mm, 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 mm. No, we're gonna go with the ones with the, with the strands in the front, I think. Where is it? There we go. Okay, fantastic. Should probably have a smartwatch or something. Oh, we can't have that because of our eyelashes. Okay. Sleepwear. Oh. I mean, like, like, you know. Like, yeah, but she wouldn't sleep in that. I feel like she'd be the type to sleep in, like, one of Duncan's shirts. A robe. A robe. I feel like that's a good... It's going to be, like, black. Not that robe. This? Yeah. Look how cute those loafers are. I didn't even know they had them in that colour. But I do feel like she'd have matching little bunny ears. And we're going to give her like a messy button. Just for the detail. <laughs> Why? It's giving like... What's that teacher's name? Trunchbull or something? We're just going to do a slick ponytail. Okay. Party. All right. This is where it's actually kind of fun. Tops. Okay. I gave Bronte a shirt that I feel like Evelyn would really like, but I feel like this is a very good opportunity for us to actually use like, like that's a little too on the nose. I feel. But there's this like super hot cat suit situation that I feel like is very dinner party for Ev. You know? Like there's stuff like this where it's a bit like, oh. Hmm. Where is it? Come on, you know the one I'm talking about. Why is this disappeared? Oh, there it is. Here we go. Here we go. Ah. Do we think white or black? The red is a little too red for my liking. I feel like it's going to be white or black. Shoes? <sighs> Clearly got to go with heels. But what heels? Maybe, like, I want real pointy ones. Wedges. Uh, nah. Does this a black? I don't know if it's enough. Is it enough? Do, 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 do. Okay, all right, we'll go with that. Which means we've got to paint our toenails, which I feel like would be uh -huh. something cute. And fingernails, we're going to go with long, but we're going to go with black this time. Just to, you know, truly show the detail. We don't need any rings or anything, but we do need to do our freaking makeup. I really hate that the makeup doesn't just carry across. I am already sick of it. Right, good. That's good. We're going to add some eyeliner. Do we go with hardcore eyeliner? Yeah, I feel like that's that's the. Thank you everyone for the follows. It's going fantastically. I've got 69 people on the live right now. Nice. <laughs> okay. Oh, not face paint. Lips. I feel like we'd go dark but a bit glossy. Um, earrings. We're going to go with just the like standard gold ones. And I might, I'm going to see if her hair's going to look better up 
with this outfit because her hair's so black that it's making the outfit look like grey. Like it's been washed too many times. Do you know what I mean? <sighs> I feel like it's either this or an updo. Mm -hmm. But it's gonna be something like hot. No. That, how is that an updo? Uh -huh. How is that an updo? How is that classified as an updo? Okay, I like that a lot. It's a bit too messy. That's also pretty good. How do we feel about this? I need feedback team. I'm doing this solely on my own. I need something to bounce off, that's wrong. What the heck is that? That's out of curiosity rather than an actual option. I like this, but the ribbon is just way off the vibe. No. I feel like we've seen better. Fringe is a big no. Again, it's the bloody ribbons. I wish you could change the color of the ribbon. So this is her normal hair. Like this is her everyday hair. Oh, I feel like that's that's pretty hot. But again, I feel like we've seen better. I could do a high pony, but I feel like it'd be more extra. Okay, I feel like there was one at the top that we liked. Well, that I liked. Because none of you are helping me. Like, that's quite good. Mm, there's something about it. It's almost there, but it ain't it. You know? Guys, someone's got to... I feel like it's this, or it's, oh, where's that genie ponytail actually? That one, it's got a plait oh. and a cool part. Do we feel like that's her enough? Now I'm looking at it in the whole outfit, I'm like, mm. This. This? Oh, that was the one. I feel like this is it. It's slick back, which is very on brand. It's long and hot. I feel like it's the vibe. It's the party term. Okay, finally, let's move on to swimwear. I feel like Evelyn is going to look good in whatever we put her in. I should go away from the the black but I feel like Evs would not be afraid to try a bit more of a covered moment hmm. you know this would be nicer if it had a lower back this looks like that's probably more towards it what is this? What's going on here? Oh! Yes? No? Maybe? I feel like this is... This is good, right? Okay, so for hot weather... Does this come in a better colour? Why would they put a teal belt with that? It's honestly insufferable sometimes trying to figure out. Like you see something that you like and then the colours are just complete trash. I feel like I've done so much black and white already. Maybe that? Like a cream? 
I feel like she is not afraid of a cream moment. Does that sound... Is that kind of there? That's that's going to be the quickest and the easiest option here. Ooh. And we're just going to give her some leggings, some pants. Oh god, that's that's horrendous. Maybe like a deep color and then her top can be ha oh. Some of these horse ranch ones are just, you know, I feel like everyone's going to end up with this jacket. You know what I mean? Mm. This is, this is pretty fitting. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like, and then if we give her some big boots and some, maybe some stockings. Oh, that's an accessory, isn't it? Leggings. Okay. I can get around that. And then I feel like boots would be something cool. Oh, God. Ugh. They're just fancy Ugg boots, really, aren't they? Mm, we need, like, a beigey colour. Why? Okay, my problem with these boots is they're so wide set. Like they're so infinitely thick. Mm -hmm. That ain't it. Mm -hmm. That also ain't it. I feel like these are fun, but they're not it. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. All right, we're gonna go with these. They're as good as it's gonna get and the highest heel I can find. And we're gonna do maybe a pink now. It's more subtle. Okay, quickly chuck some makeup on her face. The same old, same olds. Something a bit darker. Perfect. I think we can go without the eyeliner. The cheeks. She has such, has nice, has such nice blush. I'm not using my words today. Lips. We're going to go with this and maybe just. Mm -hmm. hmm. oh. Earrings. There we go. All right. How do the hearts look? <laughs> could you imagine? I feel like Evs is the only person I know that could pull that off. All right, great. Okay, so there we have it. Feedback, questions, queries. We've got Evelyn pretty much done. We just now need to pick an aspiration. So I'm just gonna quickly move us over so everyone can see the aspirations and such. All right. I wish I had the Get Famous pack because I feel like that would really provide the correct kind of vibe. I feel like she's very popular. Hmm. This similar party animal, I don't think she is a party animal herself, but I think that she's very fancy and like wants to be a part of those kinds of parties. Love, serial romantic, that's lots of people, or soulmates. Mm. Fortune, get rich and have a successful career. Owning the fanciest home. 
Ooh. Wants to be friends with the animals. I know that she has two little sausage dogs as well. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I feel like we're just gonna go with get rich and have a have a successful career because if there's one thing I know it's that she's very driven okay which makes her business savvy which I would say is true I think that is pretty good we're gonna go with black brown what else did I say aware Maybe like red, huh. purple. Huh. I don't know. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Music genre. I feel like she likes like just pop. Oh. Uh, uh, uh. Hip hop. <laughs> I don't know. Activities. I feel like she's. She's a great cook. I do know that. I did go to her house for dinner. So I'm going to give her cooking and mixology because I feel like she's a great hostess. Okay. And then. I think I'm straight up just going to give her self-assured because she's so, so easily shut down. So many uh -huh. narcissists. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ambitious. I feel like the, like the aspiration will give her the ambitiousness that, so we don't necessarily have to add that in. Art lover. I'm thinking, I wouldn't say that she's materialistic as a person. I would just say that she's the best person I know at being materialistic, you know? Like she knows the brand, she knows what to wear. She's got the clean girl aesthetic down. I feel like they used to be a charismatic trait, but I don't know about it anymore. Do we just go with outgoing? All right, I'm gonna go with materialistic and maybe. <laughs> and ambitious, okay. I feel like that's good. All right. Now, should I put up a poll for who we do next, or do you just want me to do it in couples, like I could do Rupert next or not? Let me know. I feel like... Oh, that's not what I wanted. I feel like we've done a good job. I was really nervous about doing it, uh -huh. because I want to do... I want to do her justice, you know? All right, do I do a poll? Do I do a poll for who to do next, or should I just go on with Rupert? You let me know. That's not what I wanted. Team, do I just go and do Rupert now? Evelyn's done. I need something, a little, I need a little something. I need a sign from somebody that they want me to do Rupert. I feel like it's a Friday. Like we could, we could just do whoever. Um, I have already done Bronte, little Bronte B. I'm gonna give her nails actually. This is what happens. I constantly go back and then I'm like, Oh, I forgot about this. I forgot to do this. I feel like she would have those um, pearl, like the donut nails, whatever they're called. We'll go with purple. I feel like that's fun. That's cute. <laughs> so we have done Bronte. 
She's really family oriented, obviously her sister, everything like that. So we've got that. Family oriented, loyal, because that woman is like loyal to a fault. And then child of the ocean, because she spends a lot of time at the beach. And then we have Barris and Hoon. <laughs> okay, team. I am going to just go forth and do Rupert. Omiva! Now, if you didn't know, Rupert's last name is actually Bugden, which, as much as I love Rupert, is just not uh... Oh my god, wait, I forgot to do Evelyn's walk and voice. I feel like it's deep. Not that deep. Skimbo you nabla. That was a tort. Mr. Koi, believe it. Queen of Reginel. <laughs> yep, Laragaba. I feel like that's gotta be this. Asking nah. Yeah. Okay, and then we're gonna go for her walk. <laughs> Dag. I feel like if anyone. She does the pout thing though. Like she does the pout. Maybe not that one. That's a little too sluggish for her. Definitely that. Okay, I think that's my favorite so far. <laughs> yeah, no. Bouncy walk? That's so... Oh, maybe not. That's a perky walk. Definitely not that one. <laughs> I mean, I like this one, but I don't like her face that she makes. So I think we're going to go with feminine walk. Yes? Yeah? Do we, are we vibing this? Yeah, great. And then we have it. Officially done, sorted. Right, now we can actually start Rupert. Yumbala, Zeke. Skiba, you move. Hina prep. Ho ho. Shanib doyim, huh? Do we go with that? Feel yes. I feel like this is where we're gonna go. Um, I don't like doing their walk and their traits until I have a good handle on what they look like. Now, in terms of Rupert, I feel like he's just very classic. He's got like, he's got pretty good fashion sense from memory. And a stood in smile. I feel like the face shape's pretty on. He just needs like a more pointy chin maybe. He's got a very like square jaw, you know? He's got quite a wide head and big, big ears. Like they're not giant, but okay. So first things first, we've got to change this hair. I feel like he's a dark brown and this facial hair is not doing anything for him. That's the other thing, the facial hair is not great. Does that about right? Maybe that, like I'm looking at a photo item right now and I feel like that's, I don't know if you can see, but I feel like that facial hair is actually pretty close. Um, his eyebrows are quite bushy. Like that could work. They're so like, you know? I wish you could change the angle a bit more. They're definitely bigger than that, or longer than that. Why are they so boxy? 
Okay. They're not tidy enough for that. Well. Oh. No. All right. Okay. Oh, I don't like the boxiness of them, but they're the closest I think we can get. Like some of them are close, but then they make them look really angry. Rupert is the least angry person I've ever met. I feel like we're going to go with this and just try to make him... You know... Rupert couldn't look sad if he tried. Oh, they're big. Some of these are ridiculous. Detail edit, right. I think he has quite large lips actually. Yeah, okay, all right. Now we're getting somewhere. Nose, what does his nose look like? It's got quite a big, not big, but like the prominent feature is the bulb at the front of the nose. So. Like that's too much, but it could be a good start. Oh God. That's kind of cute. Does that kind of work? I don't think it's that big. Hmm. Maybe not. Okay, all right, this is looking better. Right, and he's got blue eyes? I feel like that's kind of his eyes. <laughs> right? And we need to change this hair. This is not, this ain't it. So he's just got super basic, basic guy hair. You know, that's, the wow. I mean, Rupert look, would look great with that hair. It's quite short. He's got the classic fade. But a lot of the fades in this, oh my god, what is that? <laughs> okay, but see, a lot of the fades in this have like this really curly hair on top and I'm not really, oh, I need to change my, my text here. Why is it not in the middle? Do, do, do. So the hair's too curly. Like we need the fade, but I feel like he needs a more big square head. Does that make sense? The hair is just not doing it at all. That could be close. Ugh. It's a little too styled for Rupert, I feel. Hmm. Stop moving. Ooh. Sir, I'm trying to make your face. Just have a big head, doesn't he? Oh, all right, I'll fix it in a minute. It keeps moving. <laughs> Whoa, you can have a matching hairstyle to Evelyn. That ain't it. The man's haircut suck. Oh, that might be close-ish, maybe. Maybe that. 
That's gonna be Shannon's hair, 100%. Ooh. No, not you. That ain't it. That ain't it, my boy. This, I feel like this is, oh, he, this is like him when his hair's grown out, you know? How do we feel I'm gone? I feel like he's got quite big eyes, you know? Real big eyebrows. Do we feel like his hair's black? It's not black though. Oh, that's grey. Okay. I don't feel like I'm getting this face shape right. more like Hugo than anything else. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. now lost. Mm. How am I doing, guys? This is hard. I feel like he's got maybe more skin detail or something. That ain't it. Why does his face look like that? It's not what I it's not what I wanted. Mm. Mm -mm. I don't think he has freckles. Like, maybe. Wow, I didn't even know you could do that. Look at them. Tinny. Tinny little pupils. Okay, it's definitely more. Wow, terrifying. I regret messing with his eyes. There we go. Just gonna help leave it at that. <laughs> oh, God. He's got like very round eyes, I believe. Mm, no, that ain't it either. Tim. This is proving to be harder than I expected, but it's fine. Everything's fine. We will make it out alive. This is not, this is not it. Oh, I didn't even know these existed. Yeah. 
His eyes are like cartoonishly big, but that's fine. Okay, now I feel like Rupert just loves his overall oversized t-shirts. It's got to be longer than that. Like, that works, but not with these bloody dumb logos on them. Too tight. I don't think you'd do a v-neck. Something like this. Shorts. I feel like he lives in shorts, that boy. Something like this. Alright, he's definitely more wide set. Ah, Yeah, does this work? Uh -huh. I think he's a bit more pale than maybe like this. Should I give him like blush from how? <laughs> should I put blush on his face from how like? What's the word? Nervous he was? Maybe? Yeah? No? Just a little bit of detail, I think. I mean, not red hair. Hmm? It feels like a crime to be looking at Rupert like this. <laughs> He's got the world's biggest shoulders. Wait. It's not what I wanted. Uh huh. Yeah. Hmm. Yumbo. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I'm gonna go with that. And for his shoes, maybe I give him some custom. Why are his shorts red? How could I have done this? We could give him pants. I feel like he always wore shorts, but. Some ripped denim shorts. <laughs> Okay, Harrison. Ah, I don't know. This is atrocious. The options are just abysmal. It's disgusting. I might give him like beige shorts and then change his shirt to navy blue or something. I would have preferred something with a logo on it, but the logos are also horrendous in this. Some shoes. And then if I just change, like that's kind of a vibe, right? I feel like he's the kind to wear a watch. Not that, not that. Yeah. And Give us some little socks. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. I think yes. Okay. If you have any suggestions for what you think I should change on this lovely human being, you let me know. Oh, the hat. Ha ha ha. Oh, my lady. Yeah, that's a no. Okay, formal outfits. 
Let's do something. Like these are definitely too fancy. I just don't think that he's the super formal type. Do you know what I mean? Like if this didn't have flowers on it. Oh, that's that's very him. I should give him that in his everyday look actually. Sorry, I'm just gonna change that. That's the one. And we've obviously got to change the the dunks. More brown. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There we go. I'm happy with this. I feel like this is a better representation. <laughs> okay. And then formal wise, let's button up, get rid of formal. I feel like Roops was pretty good at dressing himself if I'm honest. He did live with Evelyn though, so maybe that was just... Uh -huh. I feel like Rupert's version of formal is very informal. <laughs> like that. But that's more of a party wear. I suppose if this is like they're all going to a wedding, which they which we did. Okay, we're just gonna go with this and some pants. some shoes that are just mm. why do they look like that not 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 yeah we're just gonna stick with that one I feel Oh, hood up option. <laughs> oh, I should have given that to Harrison. Mm, maybe something. I'm reserving something like that for Ollie. Rupert would wear something like this. Like it's quite fun. You know, bit of, bit of colour. We'll find him some little workout shorts. <laughs> Can you just respond to what I was saying? Mm, I feel like these shorts are too formal. They are way too short. Why? Come on. Why isn't there just like a normal board short situation? Why are they so long? Uh -huh. It's a disaster. All right, we're just gonna go with this. There's going to be an orange colorway in one of these that isn't completely ridiculous. Okay, fine. We'll do this one. Yeah, I feel like that's that's pretty on point. Maybe a hat.
Black orange. Black orange. I think black, because then it's black orange. Yeah. Okay. Cool. What is this monstrosity? I feel like Rupert is from Queensland, so he'll basically just wear shorts. <laughs> Would he kill me for doing this to him? Do you reckon? I truly feel like it's just going to be... Ooh. Ooh. I feel like... Oh my god, is the kiss on the back? Mm, I thought so. I feel like Rupert would get around this. What on earth? Right! Little cute little garters, I guess. These are just board shorts. Ooh. I'm just going to give him underwear. <laughs> We can give him some cute little matching loafers. Yeah, I feel like that's more Rupert. Rupert's just like a dad that isn't a dad yet. What is going on here? Okay, let's get it rid of that. Right, party. Party. I feel like Rupert would wear one of those button-ups, but open and with a t-shirt underneath. I know we've got one. I just put it on. Here we go. I hate the teal. Why would they do that? This and some pants. Also, I love that Rupert's kind of already on the trend of wearing straight leg pants instead of tight ones. <laughs> Can you guys hear me? Or are you just watching me do this? Because I feel like I haven't had any responses. And if I'm talking and I don't get responses or like feedback, that I'm kind of a bit concerned so if someone could just let me know that they can hear me that would be the best oh they're not not ideal also not that uh, I mean I want shorts but I just went through all the shorts and I hate them I hate every single one Sneakers. Uh -huh. Yeah? I mean, he's saying, uh huh. <laughs> okay. Oops. I'll give him some little socks too, even though you can't see them. <laughs> okay. None of this. None of this. I feel like the shorts are good. I feel like I could definitely see Rupert in some ridiculous budgie smugglers. Because he's fun. But I think we're going to give him some... Not that. Some little shorts. I feel like he'd be about that. Orange? Yeah. Maybe we put some sunnies on him. Just because we can. Oh yeah, that's hot. <laughs> uh, I think maybe the black is the best option here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, hot weather. We're absolutely just going to go with some basic, not super tight t-shirt that doesn't have a v-neck. Oh, these options are just atrocious. I don't know. 
This is hard, team. Actually, I could see him in some kind of fun... Like a party Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> yeah? I feel like we'll go with a blue. Red, blue. Does that match or does it not match? Hmm. Oh, don't don't enjoy that at all. I think we're just gonna go with that. I know it doesn't quite match. But I feel like everyone understands the vibe. My housemates just tagged me in a comment and I feel like there's a picture of a bum. Oh, it's okay. It's just her real, you know? Okay, all right. Yeah. Yellows, blues. <laughs> Why does he have a dumb necklace on? Huh. Right, we have to do the accessories here. I wish they did all the accessories in one place. I truly do. I just feel like maybe his lips are a little bit bigger. Not like that. Yeah, okay. Now his lips at least match his eyeballs. Okay, we've just got to do winter weather now. If this in a nice, I feel like maybe he's a bit too bulky for that to look good on him. Yeah. That ain't it. I hate how so many of the tops and sims are like. Cropped? I don't think anyone's worn cropped jackets like this in a long time. Huh. Okay, like that could be close, but it isn't. <laughs> That's Jesse. <laughs> oh god. No. Oh, I hate winter. I feel like this was as close as we're gonna get, but I also feel like I'm gonna want this for like every other male sim. Pants. Jeans. Oh, you can have muddy jeans. And we're gonna get him some cool little boots for the winter times. Boots. Yeah? Yeah. I think I'm feeling this. Maybe a beanie? Is Rupert a beanie kind of guy? I'm not really about this kind of beanie anyway. No. Oh, oh, maybe something like that. Definitely something more like that. I 
feel like maybe that. Maybe? Gray. Definitely the gray. Okay. Now for the fun part. We are going to pick his aspirations and personality traits. Okay. Rupert Bugden. He is just such a dude. He's my dude. He's living a good life. He's very chill. Mm, neighborhood confidant, maybe. This sim wants to keep as many friends as they can. Oh, I don't know. Now he's a sparky. Not anything to do with food. It could be family. Athletic. Hmm. Rupert's isn't as obvious as I thought it was going to be. Sim wants to provide all manner of advice to be a positive influence in the lives of their neighbours. I mean... I think he wants to be a positive influence, but I don't know whether he wants to like provide advice. I think he's just a good mate. Ooh. Athletic high metabolism. Oh, I don't know. I think it's got to be a, a friend one, don't you? I think it's just going to be neighborhood confidant. That's what we're going to go with. Colors, we're going to like brown and green. I feel like that's what he's kind of like. Music. I feel like he's a classic Queenslander boy, you know what I mean? He's gonna like fitness. He's quite handy. There's no real handy. Handiness, there is. Oh my god, what am I talking about? Okay, traits. I feel like... I feel like Rupert's just a really positive person who is friendly and I think he's definitely active ah, which you know helps him get along with bros I think he's good or loyal maybe I think he's cheerful. Because I think he's just a bit of a jokester. You know what I mean? Or do we give him childish because he's... Oh, I feel like that's a bit too on the nose, don't you? Maybe clumsy for his awkwardness? Do we feel like clumsy fits him well? <laughs> okay, clumsy definitely... And I don't know whether to change cheerful to good. No, nah, we're just going to go with cheerful. Ah. Right. Oh, and the walk. We've got to change his walk. So Rupert is uh -huh. not that one. No. Yeah. Maybe that. Ah. Ah. So that's swagger walk. I don't know. <laughs> okay, I feel like goofy? Because he's just a goofball? Or do we go with. That's maybe a little too upright. I don't think he's that tough. Alright, I'm gonna go with goofy. <laughs> The walk is so good. Okay. 
That's what we're going with, team. Ooh. All right. I think we're done here for the day. I try and keep to like two hours, like one hour per sim. But yeah, I don't know. Here we are. Here's little Rupee. He's got some great aspirations, some great character traits. Do we like, do we feel like I nailed this? I feel like we nailed this. Rivna! <laughs> okay, so a quick, re I'll do a recap and then I'm gonna look off because it's Friday and it's time to party. But first up we made Barrison Hoon, who I'm still not done with, I don't feel like, like, in terms of, like, him. I feel like his head is huge. And so, like, you know, does that fit? Yeah. So we've got Barrison Hoon. His aspiration is villainous Valentine. He wants to destroy the love lives of all Sims, including his own. Um, he is dastardly, a bro, non-committal, and self-assured. We've got teensy little Bronte. She is wanting, her aspiration is big happy family. So she gets domestic. They also their familiar, familial relationships grow stronger and faster. Family oriented, loyal to a fault and a child of the ocean because she loves the beach. And then we have Evelyn. Um, Evelyn's aspiration is fabulously wealthy. She wants to get rich and have a successful career. Business savvy, self-assured, tend to be confident, materialistic. They can admire and brag about possessions and ambitious because I feel like she's just a go-getter continuously. And last of all, we have Rupert, who's a neighborhood confidant. He's gregarious, so they build friendly relationships faster. He's athletic, cheerful, and of course, clumsy. Hey, <laughs> okay. <sighs> All right, team, it is Friday. I'm gonna clock off early today, but I've had a really lovely time with you all. Thank you for all of the gifts. That is just absolutely overwhelming that I got as many as I did. I am stoked, shook, surprised, hilariously, hilariously excited to continue to do everybody else. Um, and yeah, I probably won't stream again this weekend, but I'll be back next week where we can do some of the other couples. I'm going to leave myself to last because I kind of feel weird about making myself in The Sims, especially making my ex in The Sims. That's not going to... Uh, it's gonna be big okay but we have so many still to go um wasn't expected to do Ruben and Evelyn today I hadn't thought about them but we must obey the poll anyway I hope you all have a fabulous weekend and thank you for tuning in I will see you on probably Monday have the best weekend ever goodbye my friends Mm-hmm. <laughs>